Hey guys, this is Jim, KN4YCD, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by. So today, we have got this little gadget. And this is a DC switch. I have not read the documentation. I kind of vaguely remember it from when I ordered it off of Amazon. And this lets us, this is uh, Alexa or Google friendly. Um, so it's a smart device, and you can switch things with it by telling your smart device, your smart hub, be it Google or Amazon's, to uh, connect and disconnect your gadget. And so you can have normally open and normally closed switching and then based on how you turn this off or turn this on, it will toggle a switch for you. So I bought this specifically to use with uh, one of my Flex radios. The one that Flex recommends is from Digital Loggers. I have one of them. Um, I can't get another one right now. They're out of production, out of stock. I don't know. But this is the same exact thing. On the back of the Flex, there is a remote on connector. It is an RCA jack, so it has exactly two wires on it. And with a switch like this, I can turn that on or turn that off. And as long as I have D, uh, AC power applied to the Flex, excuse me, DC power applied to the Flex through the power supply, this will soft turn on and normally power down the flex radio without just snatching the power out of it. Um, it is an electronic on and off and we don't want to damage the SD card in it. So this is what we're going to use something like this for. I have literally just opened this package. I haven't even read the instructions. So we can take a quick look at them together. You can see that this will run off of 7 to 32 volts or USB 5 volts, which is even better. Uh, there's our power right there. If we want to run um, 12 volts off of a power supply hub or something like that. And there's a USB-C. I think that's C. Uh, I can't tell what that is. USB-C or USB micro probably. Yeah, I think that's USB micro to provide power to this. So, uh, of course, you have to have your phone. You have to download the Tuya Smart app, which I have already because I have other devices that that uses. There is an explanation of the connectors on it. And it has a manual switch as well up here so you can test it, which is very cool. And then go in and add it into the device and then use their software to turn the device on and off. So for video purposes, what I'm going to do is I have a, and then there's the directions in, uh, I think that's Chinese. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get this hooked up and we're going to test it with a meter in continuity mode after I get it linked up to uh, my Amazon smart device, which is right up there listening for me to say the wake word. So stick with me. I'll be right back. Okay, I've fired up the uh, device. I've got it plugged into a battery here. It is USB micro. That's probably ultimately not how I'm going to power it, but that's what we're going to use. And it sees it already. The app does. So if we tell it to add it and uh, enable the location permission to get the Wi-Fi, sure, we'll set that. Allow while using app. And then it wants my Wi-Fi password, which I am not going to show on camera. <clears throat> okay, I've got my Wi-Fi information in. Click Next. It's adding it to my empire of smart gadgets. This takes way longer than it should, in my opinion. I feel like the Jeopardy theme song should be playing right now. Okay, there we go. So it is now added successfully, and I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to call it The Dingus. For now and finish done and it is now off so what we're going to do is get our meter and I'm going to go grab it and we'll test this all right so the first thing we're going to do is give this thing a quick test to make sure there's no voltage coming off on our switch contacts so common is the center one. There might be voltage, but it should be very little. None, which is bueno. 
and none, which is bueno. So now let's switch over to our continuity mode. And that's working. So let's put this on common. I don't know which is which. So that's connected. And if I turn it on, it disconnects it. And if obviously if we switch it to the other side with it on, it's connected. With it on, it's connected. And when I turn it off, it goes off. So that is the normally open or not connected. And that's how I'm going to connect it up. So what I'm going to do ultimately for the back of my Flex 6300, which is the one out here in the shop, is I'm going to connect up two wires to a RCA connector and plug it into that remote on on the back of the Flex. I can leave the power supply to the radio on, supplying the 12 volts all the time, but the radio will be off. And it will only come on if I tell my Amazon smart device to turn on the dingus. All right, so the other thing we can do with this particular device is change what kind of switch we have. So we have a rocker switch. We can flip it to change state. We can have a synchronous rocker switch. I'm not entirely sure what that will do. And then a button switch would be like a momentary contact sort of deal. Okay, well, I've discovered that somehow the Amazon device does not like turning this on and off because I've renamed it and played with it a couple, three times, and I cannot get this to want to shut itself on and off by voice. However, that seems to work just fine. As you can see, every time I hit it, oops, let's get over here. Our status light turns on and off, which is doing exactly what I want it to do. Um, you know, I would use this again to turn my flex on and off, soft start and soft power down. So it's doing what it needs to do. No demo ever survives the first contact. Guys, that's all I have for today on this video. If you would give me a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. All that's in the dingus, the dingus below. And that will make sure that you're notified whenever I post any new videos. Y'all, I appreciate it. Have a great day. 73.